DJ bring it back, tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back, tell the DJ turn it up, better DJ bring it back, tell them play that shit again, tell them turn up the bass. Hey, hi, hello, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am Lauren, and today's video is going to be all about my hair. If you guys have been following me for a while, you guys probably know I love changing up my hair colors and playing around with fun colors that are really bold and vibrant and just like out of the box. I've had blue hair, I've had purple hair, I've had just blonde and brown hair, I've had like a reddish kind of tone to my hair. I now have this like pink rose gold thing going on, I'm not sure if it shows up on camera, but I like to try out different colors so today is no different. So today's video is brought to you guys by the new Paint Semi-Permanent Hair Dye and this hair dye is like amazing because it's semi-permanent so you you can test out new colors and it will wash out in about 20 washes so you don't have to like fully commit to a hair color. And it comes in 15 different colors. They have 5 pastel colors and 10 bright vibrant colors to get whatever color hair you want. And also what's great about these hair dyes is that you can mix and match all of them. So today I'm going to be trying to achieve a periwinkle pastel blue kind of color. But with that being said, uh, as you guys, as I've said, I uh, like to change my hair color a lot. And currently the color that is in my hair is the process of getting the purple out. So I've actually bleached my hair two times to get the purple out and uh, this is what I'm left with. But it is still pink. So instead of going ahead and bleaching my hair again and further damaging my hair, I went ahead and bought a wig and I'm going to be dyeing the wig. But with all that being said, let's get into the actual hair dyeing process. So to start the whole process of mixing my hair, I went ahead and got two different mixing bowls because I personally like to make two different batches of whatever color I am dyeing my hair. I personally just think this makes it look a lot better when it's actually applied on my hair because I like to make the colors slightly off and slightly different. I do this for a couple reasons. One, because I am no professional hair colorer. Not that that's even a word. Hair colorer. Hair stylist. I'm not a professional hair stylist. So I like to give myself a little bit of wiggle room or error room in case I do mix up or mess up. I don't know if that makes sense to anyone else but it does to me and all my colors have looked really good I think personally so this is the way that I went about doing the wig as well so I went ahead and took the five light blue the one fuchsia and the one clear paint semi permanent hair dye that I received and I went ahead and split those into two and then added them into the mixing bowl so in the first mixing bowl I put two and a half blue a tiny bit tiny tiny bit of fuchsia and half of the clear and then in the second mixing bowl I went ahead and put two and a half blue a little bit more fuchsia and half of the clear. That way they were just slightly off, pretty much the same color, but just slightly off. So that way when I put them on the wig and they processed and everything, they would just be slightly off and add some dimension to the wig and it wouldn't be one flat color. Now, if you want to achieve one flat color on your head, go ahead and just make one batch of all the hair dye, mix the colors together until you get the desired color that you want, but make sure you make enough of it the first time because you're probably not going to be able to match the color that you created the first time. So once I had my two colors ready to go, I went ahead and prepped my wig. Since I am dyeing the wig a pastel color, I had to go ahead and dampen the wig. This is just going to ensure that I get the best color payoff from the dye. So I went ahead and got a spray bottle and I just sprayed the wig until it was slightly damp and I just kind of like worked the water into the wig. You don't want it to be too wet, but you definitely do want it to be damp. This is just gonna help the dye kind of cling to the hair itself. And this is definitely a step you want to do when trying to achieve a pastel or light color. So don't skip this step and make sure that your hair is light enough to achieve the pastel color in general. So once my wig was damp and all like brushed out and everything, it was now time to apply the dye. Now when I applied dye to my hair, um, once again, I'm no hairstylist or professional. Uh, I just, there's no rhyme or reason. I just kind of go at it. And uh, this actually kind of helps when using the two different colors because there's no, once again, rhyme or reason to it. So I'm just putting dye kind of everywhere and just making sure that I focus it towards the top of the wig first and then working my way down. At the beginning, I think I did start kind of middle, in the middle of the wig. And then I remembered like, oh, Lauren, you should do it just like your head. So I started at the top and then worked my way down. And I just kind of like use my hands to rub in the dye into certain areas just to make it sure it's like really worked in there. So once the wig was fully saturated in the hair dye, I went ahead and let it sit for 30 minutes. Yes, you heard me, 30 minutes, that's all it took was 30 minutes so I let it sit for 30 minutes and then I just rinsed out the hair dye and waited for the wig to dry I didn't want to use heat on the wig just because it is a wig so I went ahead and just let it air dry and then brushed it out and now it is time for the big reveal are you ready I'm so excited <laughs> And voila, this is the final result. I am seriously in love with this color, guys. I am like obsessed with it. I can't stop looking at it in the viewfinder. Um, I am not really a professional wig putter on her. I've never done it before. So uh, 
don't mind that if it doesn't look great but the color I know does also I went ahead and put on a different shirt just to make the color pop a little more even though it doesn't really need it but you know blue blue and the blue eyes it just works I think so that is it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and let me know down below in the comments if you like the color I chose or if you want me to do a new hair color next let me know what you guys want down below in the comments also if you guys want to dye your hair definitely check out the paints new semi hair dye it's so it's so pretty. I love it. I love all the colors. Definitely check them out. I'll have them linked down below and you can also find them at your local Sally's Beauty Supply store. So definitely check them out. I actually went to Sally's the other day to get more hair extensions for my hair and I saw all the paints colors on like the wall and I was so excited that I got to work with them for this video. So definitely go check them out. They have amazing colors. They have 15 different colors as I said. So definitely check them out. They're definitely really affordable as well. So Go check them out if you want to dye your hair a fun color. If you do dye your hair a fun color, though, definitely send me a picture, tweet, snap, Instagram, whatever you may have. Send me a picture. I love seeing your guys' recreations of anything that I do. Uh, if you are new, though, please be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. And if you want to give this video a thumbs up, I would really appreciate it. And with that being said, I hope to see you guys on my next video. Bye, guys!